Guys, we are Craig and Amy, and you are watching King and It. And for the next ten days, we're teaming up with our pals Euro Tunnel for the best road trip ever. So we're driving all the way from Wales to Germany through France and Belgium. There's going to be castles. There's going to be food challenges. There's just going to be unbelievable scenes that are going to make you want to do this road trip yourself. So our first stop is Ghent in Belgium, and the only thing we have to do is get here. But first things first, we need some coffee. So we're back on the road again. We're so excited for this road trip. We did the Strasbourg stuff last year with Eurotunnel and we had the best Christmas ever, oh, didn't we? It was, a, it was my favourite vlogs that we've ever made. So if you haven't seen those videos, click up here and check them out because there's a lot of Christmas spirit in them. Oh, I need some new dresses, by the way, because um, we, we packed really light, uh, so I couldn't really fit um, any prom dresses in. So we're going to need to do that for the Instagram shots. Thank you very much. So we're on our way to Folkestone. We can't wait to jump back on the Euro Tunnel. It's just the best way to do it, man. No travel sickness for this kid. You can pack whatever you want. Obviously, we just went nuts again. And we can bring back presents as well. So. Yeah, I wonder Thanks. if we're going to see anyone we know on the Euro Tunnel the shuttle. Well, we're pretty much locals now. So yeah. We made it. Self checking as a kid. I would never have gone to this because you know I'll do something wrong, but important information. Okay, bon voyage. That was easy. Oh, How right cool is then. that? Love it. Bon voyage. Here we go. What's happening, Luke? Still doing the taekwondo, mate? You got your green belt. Shut up. <laughs> Hi, Evan. How's it going? How's the kids? All right, Clive, that was a goldfish, mate. Oh, I feel right to know you, Craig. I knew we'd know someone. Oh, yeah. Treat. The best part about turning up early is you get loads of time to go shopping and get yourself some coffee. Coffee. Makeup. What are you doing? What? Do you know which way it is to France? Uh, yeah, follow, follow me. Hey, remember the first time we came on the Euro Tunnel and we didn't know anything about it? Yeah. I got some beer facts for you this time. Of course you have, Craig. We're all going on a summer holiday. You can bring your parrot as well if you want. You've got a driving license, yeah. No. <laughs> How long do you think the Euro Tunnel is? 250 miles. You can't be serious. Is it, is it right? <laughs> <laughs> 31 .4 miles. 31 miles. 31 miles. So the lowest point of the tunnel, right? It's quite right, yeah. It's 75 meters below the seabed. So what? What do you think about that? What, are we, what are we in Australia? Oh, oh no, no, all good. No, no, no it's, he's just telling me facts about the Euro tunnel. I don't believe him. I can see France. It's a French tree. Bonjour! Oh, bonjour, Craig. Ça va? Oui, monsieur. Made it to Calais, driving to the border, into Belgium. Our first ever time. I know, I'm really excited. I've seen pictures, it looks beautiful. It looks pretty special. You want to see the place we're staying in. It's so cool. Top banana. Morning. Morning! Welcome back. Today we've woken up at the coolest hostel I think I've ever seen in my life. It's pretty special, guys. So there's caravans everywhere. Each caravan's got a little theme. We've got the Hawaiian one. There's just like rooms with pianos in, grand rooms with brick. Like everywhere you look is so special and unique. It's crazy though, because like there's just one big room, but there's loads of like retro and old school caravans in it and it's just brilliant isn't it so this is where we're staying we've got the hawaiian number welcome to king and the cribs come on in 
You can't set foot in unless you've got a Hawaiian skirt on. So this is the Hawaiian caravan, welcome. We have the seating area here. We've got the bed, which is really comfortable last night actually. And a little skylight for all you budding stargazers out there. So Ghent is known for these. And these. And this. And that one. These. And this guy. Hang on, who is he? Don't know. There's a castle by there and I'm absolutely starving, so uh, can we go and get some food please? So congratulations on making it to the centre of Ghent with uh, myself, Amy. I will be your tour guide for this afternoon. Oh, look out. What are you on about? <laughs> I'm the best kind there is. <laughs> so you're currently on a free walking tour. Um, so uh, tips are really much appreciated. Gotta live, gotta live. Give us a tip then. So um, we are now walking along the cobblestone streets of uh, Genteth Road Genteth. in Ghent. I'm going to show you the yeah. top places to be eating, drinking, and uh, just generally having a good time with your friends. We're in the main square. Well, I'm going to take you to try a famous little Ghent treat. You up for that? Yeah, I'm always up for a treat, me, you know, sweet tooth and all that jazz. It looks like a human body part though. Which part of the body? Your nose. Raspberry, strawberry, violet, those are the traditional ones, the classic ones, just melts away like body mouth. Huberdon in French, noses. Okay, Huberdon. And what's it made from? A raspberry, strawberry, violet and something called goma arabica, comes from the Akaza tree. It's a resin. We use it to bake it together with the fruit. It's all ready for you. You're welcome. It does look like your nose though. Oh. Okay, it doesn't smell of anything. <laughs> oh, good man. Oh, whoa, it's got like gel stuff in the middle. It's kind of like, um, what are those sweets you get when you've got a cold? Yeah, that is, that's really, really good. Told you I'd treat you babes tonight. Oh, you do treat me well, Craig. <laughs> you want one? You're all gooey, that is. Give it to me in your best three describing words. A nice, subtle, sweet delight. Congratulations. What you got, kid? I've got a soy burger, the Texas burger. This is special. Give me five, Craig. We're all burgered out. Next up is our first ever challenge. Craig versus Amy. Who's gonna win? Um. I feel like because this is food orientated, Craig, I have it in the bag. <laughs> so the challenge is, we're both going to go off separately. We're going to find the best looking dessert. We're going to photograph it as best as we can. Put the both photos on Instagram. You guys are going to vote. And pick who wins. And pick who wins. It's as easy as that. I hate being left on my own in a strange city. I don't know why he does. He knows I'm going to get kidnapped. The obvious choice is waffles, isn't it? But I'm just, something's drawing me to waffles. And I found the spot, but I don't want to go in there straight away and blow my chances. So I'm going to have a look around first. I've tried to Google a place that do really nice stuff, but everywhere seems to be closing at the minute. So... I've basically done a whole lap of the city and I haven't found anything that's competing yet with the waffles. So I'm going to have to go back to my girl so she can hook me up. Okay, so my plan is I'm going to just find something quick as possible, look for like some waffles or something and spend more time like photographing it because I can put filters on it then and maybe it might look a bit better. I saw waffles but then I feel like he's going to get waffles because it's like a, a Belgium thing. So I want to try and find something chocolatey but no idea mate. I don't even know where I am. Right we're going in here. It says waffles but, but it's got to be the best waffle that you've ever made. She's only gone and stolen my spot. How cheeky is that? We're going to have to go somewhere else now. She hasn't seen me yet. Okay, I've got 12 minutes left and I haven't got my dessert yet. I'm starting to freak out. I found another waffle spot. Hopefully this could be a winner. Okay, where to take the photograph? Hmm. Spot is super pretty. It's kind of got everything you need. Boats and sun and flowers. Hello, um, I'm in a competition. So what's your, what's the best looking one if you're going to make some? This one, strawberry drink With maybe some like chocolate. Yeah, on but, it. yeah, yeah, but that, yeah. Okay. In Belgium, they don't put chocolate sauce, and eh? we eat chocolate, but we don't put sauce and stuff. 
think she likes me. I feel like the only way I'm going to win this challenge is if I get like a true Belgianese to balance it on their heads so I can take a photograph. And that's just what I'm going to do. I mean, that's pretty good luck in that, isn't it? There she is. Um, <laughs> what happened to your dessert? Gone, mate. So you photographed yours, have you? Yeah, but I didn't do a very good job. Right then. Let's get them on Instagram, is it? Mine's more about the concept. Oh yeah, Craig, I forgot to ask you. You dropped it on your foot, did oh, you? Oh no. <laughs> I literally didn't even see that. <laughs> That's so bit annoying. Bit for me, bit for my foot, bit for me. Okay, pictures are going up. Okay. So thirsty. <laughs> We're back in the tropics. Welcome to Hawaii. No, Craig, I don't want the results. Yeah, you do. It doesn't matter yeah, you how do. good at a challenge I am. Always loose. Always loose. I mean, you say you're good, but you put your dessert on someone's head and yeah. you couldn't see it. But that was, you know, I didn't want to be, the, didn't want to do the norm. Trying to be all I? hipster, were you? No. Go on then, get it up. I let's was let's have a live results. It's a big face. You're getting closer. You're getting closer. See the idea. Oh. Oh. oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, I'm not playing anymore, Craig. So Amy's forfeit is gonna happen on the next vlog. I haven't decided what it's going to be yet, so tune in for the next one to see Amy do her forfeit. Did you have a good time in Ghent? I had a brilliant time. Belgium was wicked, isn't it? We've picked, we've picked a great time to come as well. The weather's just been spot on and it just makes everything look so pretty and you can get some ice cream and just have a cocktail. And walk to, you just All you need to do is walk around it, really. Yeah. It's beautiful. Also, did you know that every Thursday they have Veggie Dag Donder Dag? I beg your pardon. Meat free Thursdays. Oh, okay. Yeah, FYI. The whole city like promotes it to the people who live here to not eat meat on a Thursday. That's really cool. This is actually the veggie capital of the world. There's more vegetarian restaurants per capita here than anywhere else in the world, you know what? Don't believe you. 100% true. Don't believe you. It's also the city of rebels. Is that why you decided to put your dessert on that guy's head and take a photo? What's happening here? How, do, how are you coming up with all this now? You're Top of the dome, kid. For a minute. Top of the dome. So that is it for this video. I hope you've had a wicked time with us. Thanks again to Eurotunnel for making this happen, lads. Cheers for that. So if you've just found our channel and you were like, these two weirdos are just, they've Best just made my TV. day. Then make sure you press subscribe, press the little bell as well, so you get a notification for the next video. And always remember guys, doesn't matter what you're doing with your life, you can always be king in it and rule your own world. One, two, three, bye. bye. And on the next episode, Morning, we're off to Dinant. <laughs> she said to break it. Wow, this is amazing. Quickest, we're late, like everyone's gone.